And we're live. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Fulton Career Cast as we dive deeper into the information systems concentration and potential career paths and opportunities that are out there for you as students and, and whatnot. So I'm really excited to have Maddie Chadwell here with us at BC Alumni. And without further ado, let's welcome her to the show. Maddie, how's it going? Hey, I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, we're excited to have you. Let's dive right right into it. Can you kind of give us a little bit of background on yourself? Tell us about, you know, your BC experience when you graduated, concentration, campus activities, all the good stuff. Yeah, um, so I graduated in 2017. I studied information systems and business analytics. And um, outside of that, I was involved in a handful of activities, um, like I was in the New England Classic, doing a lot of graphic design stuff there and um, volunteering with For Boston and Pulse and things like that at um, Samaritans in Boston. And um, I was involved in the Women's Innovators Network as well. I think those were sort of the, the big highlights. Awesome. So we actually are this, the, uh, the, I'm just realizing we're in the same class here. We never had any CSOM, CSOM classes again, I don't think, did we? Yeah, I don't think we did. Ah, shucks. Well, well, good to good to good to uh, the catch up now. So let's dive a little bit deeper. Can yeah. you tell us about some of your internships experiences and now your full time uh, role with GE in the DT uh, Digital Leadership Program. Yeah. So um, I had two internships when I was in college. One was with Accenture, doing some data analytics stuff like that at their Boston office. Um, working with a lot of like security analytics things and building some dashboards and predictive models and things like that for cybersecurity and like threat detection. Um, and then I had another internship with Google in New York City um, working on like HR and hiring analytics um, for oddly enough their cybersecurity teams, but I was supporting the human resources folks and helping them kind of sort through and um, sort of the early stages of trying to figure out if there would be potential or opportunity to kind of build some predictive models to help them parse through all of the applicants they get for positions and things like that. Um, and then after college, I joined um, GE Renewable Energy and the Digital Technology Leadership Program, which is a two-year rotational program through GE and um, so every six months I got a new job, moved to a new place, and it's all focused on um, software engineering, technical pro product management, and things like that. Um, so I did a lot of rotations and tried to focus mostly on software engineering roles. Um, after college and like during college, I really didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew that I enjoyed the sort of more technical aspects of the information systems classes more. Um, so I tried to kind of dip my toes into some more software development type roles and opportunities. So I did a lot of that. And then now I've been off program for a little over a year and I work as a full stack software developer um, for a, like I, I work on software that um, engineers use to design wind turbines. Um, so that's what I've been doing for the last year and a couple months. That's awesome. So another similarity that we have, we are both, uh, you know, I'm an yeah. guy, but it's, it's so like, funny. It's so funny. You know, I worked in the GE FMP financial management program and DTLP was uh, one of our, you know, brother sister programs. We go to Crotonville together, have a good time. So, you know, I was actually on a walk today and I was thinking back to my Crotonville experience. I was just like, that was a really good time. Uh, could yeah. You can you kind of tell um, uh, our, our students a little bit about the DTLP program? I feel like that doesn't get um, much play, but uh, we'd love to hear more about it. Just kind of the ins and outs and your experience with it. Yeah, definitely. So for me, um, I joined the program with GE Renewable Energy. So all of my rotations were within the renewables um, business of GE and their four six month long rotations and then we have a lot of training opportunities in between so there's two, two um big like program wide trainings and then Cronville that you mentioned also that is like with people from other programs and other leadership training programs and things like that 
Um, and then there's lots of like really awesome opportunities you get while you're on program. Um, so I'm getting my master's at Georgia Tech, which was like a, a benefit of doing the, the program, um, but it's not required. Um, you can just take some classes if you want and there's tons of um, availability of like resources and things um, like they give you subscriptions if you're interested in like the online learning resources and stuff like that like I think LinkedIn has a big one that we can access and um, other stuff like that which is really neat and then in terms of the work um, so it's four six month long rotation some people move every time I moved every time but um, like the other person who started at the same time as me, he only moved once. So it kind of depends on what you're interested in. Um, and the roles for DTLP within renewables run the span from like very technical full software engineering to not very technical at all, doing like running, um, being kind of responsible for um, the sort of timeline and logistics and things like that of a software product as a product manager, um, but not actually working on the code or things like that. Um, so you can kind of pick and choose what you're interested in. And there's a lot of um, space to explore different options and opportunities. And there's a lot of really cool cybersecurity stuff that gets worked on and um, some other really interesting things going on. And if you're lucky, which I was not lucky enough, but um, so G Renewable's biggest product is wind turbines, um, especially in the US, that's kind of our, our big money maker. So some of the folks in the program got to go like to a wind farm and climb a wind turbine and get to see everything happening in real life, which I have not gotten to do yet, but it's a pretty cool perk if you can make it happen. That's awesome. And, and getting to work for a company that actually produces big things, you know, you get to really see the product and your work come to life and see how you support it from the development, from input, from yeah. idea phase all the way up to development and implementation. It's so interesting. And I, that's been and one of the coolest things working for GE is like, I spend so much of my time on my computer working on software and it's all just like, it doesn't feel real. And then you see these pictures of wind turbine parts that are the size of a football field. And there's like little people who look like ants standing next to them. And it's just crazy to think that I had some tiny little part in making this gigantic object. It's really cool. Absolutely. So the, the kind of, you know, key emphasis of the leadership development program is you kind of get exposure to uh, a multi, multiple disciplines of, you know, both technical and non-technical aspects of, uh, of, of the role. And then you get leadership training, you get, you know, a, you get additional curriculum and, and education, the leadership component, and then you're also with a class of people. So you get, you have a cohort of peers. Um, could you kind of tell us about, you know, rolling off program? Yeah, kind of absolutely. Time roll now and kind of the kind of ins and outs of what you do now. Yeah, definitely. So um, now I work as a software developer building um, one like cloud-based tool. So it's a website basically um, that other engineers use. So it's for other GE employees um, and they use it to design parts of wind turbines basically. Um, so I am working as a developer on an agile scrum team. So there's about 12 of us right now, I think, on one team. And um, we run like a standard, fairly standard sprint process. So we have like a two week development sprint where we're all coding for two weeks. And then at the end of that, we demo our what we've been working on to um, our product owner and we can sort of get feedback and approval and things like that. And we release to our users every three weeks. So we have a two week development sprint um, followed by one week of um, quality testing. And that is kind of unique to our team. Um, that's not really a standard process, but it's been a really good change for us. Um, and yeah, so I do front and back end development and I'm working on this tool, which is built using Kotlin on the back end, which is kind of like Java. Um, there's a little bit of Python as well. And then the front end is um, Angular, JavaScript and kind of a standard web stack. Um, and then, yeah, so that's kind of during the development sprint. And then all of the developers are part of the quality testing as well during the one week quality sprint basically um which is 
it's actually, I was kind of, we just started it maybe nine months ago. And at first I was like, I don't know if this is going to be a good idea, but it's been such a great way to learn about what everyone else is doing and to like to have to test their stuff has been really beneficial for all of us. Um, So that's kind of our standard three weeks on repeat throughout the year. Um, And outside of that, um, different people kind of have become sort of like experts in different parts of the system. So when um, users request new features or new functionality related to a part that like I might know the most about, then I'll sort of become pretty involved in fleshing out the requirements and the needs for that sort of chunk of functionality. Um, And we all kind of chip in where we can in terms of um, fleshing out like user stories and requirements and that kind of stuff, Um, which is, it's been cool to kind of see all the different sides of stuff instead of just being focused on um, development. And our team is kind of in a a really unique position. Um, So we are a team of developers, but all of um, my coworkers basically, like, so my team, half of them are like a traditional software development background and the other half have more of like a, a mechanical engineering type background. So it's, it's a pretty neat kind of interdisciplinary team. Um, and then all of our sort of like my managers, coworkers teams, if that makes sense. So like our peer teams, yeah. they're all engineering teams and they're all our users. So we're very tied very closely to them and I mean, I'm not in the office anymore, but before when I was in the office, like the people I sat next to were our users. So I could just sort of knock on their door or their cube wall and be like, hey, do you like, do you like this button? Should I move the button? Like, what are your thoughts on it? Um, The flip side of that is that they could knock on my cube wall and be like, why isn't this thing done yet? (laughs) But it's, it's been really good. So you get you get a, a lot of good cro- uh, cross collaboration during the day, which is awesome. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, absolutely. So, have you taken? Did you take any John Gallagher classes while you're at BC? Yeah, I did. I took um, the Tech Trek to Ghana, which was super cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. I, I know he that he he offers a couple good classes and and just seeing how you can use those front or the full stack, the front end and back end development comes into play is, is great. So could you kind of talk a little bit yeah. about um, any specific qualifications that were needed when you're hired into the program or kind of what they were looking for, uh, you know, to get into DTLP? Yeah. So um, because DTLP is kind of like diverse in terms of like what the rotations are. Um, they hire a pretty broad range of people um, and like they're not looking for just software developers. Um, so like I didn't really have any software development experience before I joined. I just did like the information systems classes and they aren't like like when I graduated, I was not a software developer at all. <laughs> um, but they definitely look for um, just like an interest and a a little bit of an understanding of kind of the technical side of things. Like, do you understand, maybe you don't know every programming language, but you sort of have a general idea of like the logic behind it. Um, And I think one of the biggest things they look for is like an interest and an aptitude to learn really quickly um, because you just have six months in every spot. You have to learn very fast. You don't have a choice. Um, and other than that, I think they look for people who are, um, I don't know. I feel like those are the two big things that, um, I mean, I've been like a little bit involved in hiring and those are kind of the things that I look for at least. (laughs) The ability to learn and, and be quick on your feet, because it's like you said, you're drinking from a fire hose when you get in there from the first day, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Good, good. So if, if I'm interested, you know, where can I find out more about the program or what's the best way to get in touch with you or, you know, or whatnot? Yeah. So anyone's welcome to um, shoot me an email. Maybe I can, I don't know how this works, but I can give you the best email to get in contact with me instead of just reading it out loud. And I'll put it in the show notes as well. Okay. Yeah. That's, it's perfect. Um, and you're welcome to like find me on LinkedIn or something and message me there. If you want to learn about the program, 
Um, I would maybe just Google it because I don't know the website off the top of my head, although I'm sure there is a very nice website for it. Um, and it, basically every business at GE has this digital technology leadership program. So maybe you are not um, as excited about renewable energy. There's other things you're interested in. You can kind of look at the programs in different businesses. Um, and I know there's typically like recruiters who come to BC. I don't know what that looks like this year, but um, that's how I kind of learned about the program and kind of started talking to some folks about it. So I think that would also be a really good place to start and just get um, get a little bit more information. Awesome. And yeah, I I don't know how much things have changed since I joined, um, but that's definitely a good start. And yeah, you're welcome to reach out if you have any questions. Great, I'll make sure to include both the link to the website and your email as well in the show notes. So Maddie, really, Perfect. really a pleasure to get you back on the phone career cast and you know, hoping for the best as you recover from the hurricane in Carolina. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. All right. Have a good one. Thanks. You too. Bye.